Hey guys, welcome to TOC. This is Abhishek out here. In this lecture, we are going to find out the second largest element of an integer array. But the constraint is constraint is the complexity of the algorithm of the algorithm should be order of n. Should be order of n. That means we are not supposed to use any inner loop. So what is the approach? Say for example we have an array A and the elements are 9, 7, 2, 5, 5, 6, 4. So we are not supposed to use any inner loop so the approach is a bit different. What is the approach? Well, we'll take a variable v where at any instant our target is v should hold the largest element and we'll take an array if the size of this array is n we'll take an array b and its size should be n minus 1. Why? That's because v should hold the smallest element and all the r all all the elements except this largest uh, sorry uh, let me rephrase my statement v should hold the largest element and all the elements rest of the elements of this array a should be copied in this location so uh, in this uh, array b okay so what exactly are we doing we'll take this va this value 9 in v in value 9 the value 9 v should be uh, value 9 should be copied in v and we'll start uh, we start the iteration from the uh, from the first uh, index from from the index 1 till end which we compare if this value is greater than v no it's not it's not uh, when v is the uh, larger value than this uh, first location so this value should be copied here and then say for example here 11 we have okay so for the next location it is 2 is 2 greater than 9 no it's not so copy it here now 11 is 11 greater than 9 yes so first we copy this value here and then we copy 11 in v and then 6 is 6 greater than v no so it should be copied here and is 4 greater than 11 no it should be copied here so what we excel what we are seeing this array b is holding all the elements except the largest element so from this array we can find out the largest element and we can and uh, we'll return that value because the largest element of b is the smallest element of the uh, the array a so uh, let's write the code the name of the file is uh, second largest or java so that's what we are doing the class name before that we are inputting all the values through keyword we are not going to hard code the value so uh, java import java dot util dot scanner and class this is our class name this end of class and in here public static word main string first let's create the object of scanner scanner as new scanner system dot in okay. we have created the scanner object now we have to take in the size of the array print ln 
please enter the size the size of array int as set the size equals set dot s dot next and we have to get in size now <coughs> we we create the array as int a new int as set and another array if it is having the size n then this array should should have the size uh, n minus 1 so uh, int b equals new int s z minus 1 so we have created two different arrays now we start the iteration first take the variables v equals 0 okay so uh, v equals 0 and now two first uh, okay let's declare the variables first i equals 0 v equals 0 that's fine okay so uh, we have taken in uh, the iteration the iterating variable and the uh, variable which which is going to hold the largest element so first taking the elements for let's put a message system dot out dot print ln is element please enter the enter the elements please enter the elements for that for i equals i has already been initialized so i is more than s set plus plus i mm, and uh, a of i equals s dot next int so we have entered the we have entered the elements now the main algorithm so uh, we start the loop before that we store the ith uh, the zeroth element in f in v so uh, we should hold the a of zero and the iteration should, should uh, start uh, from the very next location to i uh, to zero that is the first location so uh, for i equals one smaller than s z plus plus i <coughs> and now we check if if v we are going to ask this is what we are doing here we are going to ask if v is greater than a of if v is uh, smaller than a of i if it is so then the value of v should be copied in b the value of b v should be copied in b i equals v and then the value of a of i should be copied in a of i should be copied in v if it is so then do this else else directly copy the directly copy this value in b of i sorry a of i a of i should be copied in b of i and this is the end of uh, for loop now let's check the elements of b and i sorry i equals 0 i smaller than sz minus 1 plus plus i okay. system dot out dot print a of i hmm? sorry b of i we are going to see the values of b this is the end of main main and this is the end of of uh, i this is the end of loop okay this is done so we are going to get some uh, array index out of bond exception 
white is so let's analyze copy or sort dot okay. java just five seven six three eight one air index out of one because the iteration has been started from one and we are putting the value at first position but we what we have to do is we should put here minus i minus one because the array which we have allocated for v should have the size uh, is ha uh, uh, is having the size uh, size minus one and eventually in this algorithm it is accessing the size uh, I mean the location which is very next to the end element so this is not valid here so in this case we put here minus one minus one now if i is one if ith location element is going to be copied then it will be copied in b of zero means zeroth location of one if second element is going to be copied then the location first is going to be filled and if uh, if uh, the element from fourth location is going to be go is going to be copied in uh, the b b array then the location second is going to be filled up so i think it should work now and we are uh, currently we are just checking the uh, the elements of b and we are investigating that uh, does it contain the largest value of the array it is five seven six eight three four no it doesn't contain eight so from this array we'll find out the largest element and it should be taken as the second largest element of this complete array so for before that take this value v equals a of b of zero it has been copied here now the i equals one i smaller than sz minus one plus plus i and in here if 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 v is smaller than b of i b of i then v should be updated by b of i b of i So uh, the second is I think it should work. Five, seven, three, six, nine, eight. The second largest element is eight. Yeah, this is working. So, but be careful. Do not put any duplicate element. Otherwise, <coughs> that uh, that's uh, sec uh, the element which is coming secondly is going to be the largest element fo from this array and uh, that that would not be the largest element from the first array because 9 and 9 if you are putting two different values uh, as same i mean duplicate then uh, these two values are same then second 9 should be t will uh, this according to this algorithm second 9 will uh, will be counted as the second largest element which is not valid thank you gentlemen god bless